It's my chunk. You make it more harder for food. Caitlin Kredger is a young mom who once dealt with being publicly beat up at a train station. This drove her to organize an anti-bully vigil that took place earlier this week in our city in honor of Amanda Todd and those that suffer from bullying. I think we need to raise more awareness about bullying. We need to have programs for people that are being bullied to get help. And then we also need to raise awareness about internet predators, of course. This story causes people to take action because there are so many different elements. There's the online predators, the bullies with emotional and physical attacks, suicide, and even after her death, pictures were posted. Bullying has always been a problem, but with the internet and technology so accessible to everyone, it creates more problems. Not only did I have to put up with it at school, like I couldn't even go check my email without having, you know, something that mean or nasty on there. And and internet, like cyberbullying sucks because they can post it everywhere. And once it's there, it's it's there. David Appel, a student counselor, sheds light on the issue. You can remain anonymous, right? There's that anonymity. And you can't physically see the person, so you can't see how you're hurting them. You're not getting any of those uh, cues that we would get as you and I are sitting across from each other. Bullying, because it's a learned behavior, it, somebody has to be taught to be a bully. So because it's learned, it can be unlearned. It's really hard to come up with just one solution. It's kind of got to be a blend of all these different solutions. One Edmonton school is combating the bully problem by celebrating Global Dignity Day. They are speaking out about the importance of self-worth and respect. Just for being human, you have dignity and respecting that, telling people that they have dignity is like giving them hope. There is hope as we see students and Edmontonians take action towards a bully-free community.